hey guys shopping day today welcome back to my channel thank you for watching my videos and thank you for subscribing guys i really appreciate your support thank you so much and god bless you in this video it's just me doing some few shoppings for my garden i got some letters in leek they were one dollar twenty instead of four dollars that's how expensive the plants have gone in new zealand seedlings that's why i start my own seedlings because i can't afford buying a four dollar pot for every seedling and i plant different types of things wow when you get seeds it's like you are getting a lot of seeds for i pay most of my seed my seeds i paid one about three to four dollars per packet and it comes with thousand five hundred more seeds than just buying the seedlings from the store but i needed few seedlings though like tomato like the cherry tomatoes and sweet corn for the starter so that was good and i also needed compost and potting mix i haven't started making my own compost which is sad and hopefully i start soon and i got pardon my nails guys please i'm not i'm too busy to do my nails <laughs> anyway i got some sweet corn seeds so that i can plant more hopefully they germinate and if they don't i have to get more pot uh, i have to get more uh seedlings from the store that won't be a problem anyways anyway i planted some buttercup squash and also some butternut pumpkin so hopefully these will be yummy and i hope they grow well and i also planted uh, watermelon and i'm using just i'm just using potty mix and compost and that's it and hopefully that will still do the job that they need to if hopefully they germinate that's what i'm trying to say Hopefully they germinate, but I reckon they will. I didn't want to spend money on seedling mix because I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> anyway, one top tip I will tell you as a gardener is mark everything you plant. Every pot you use, if it's beans or tomatoes, onions, whatever it is, any kind of things, mark, put a name on it, mark it so that you know exactly which plant is which last time i did not mark my plants that's last summer and it was a mess and i always say oh i'll remember but i always forget so this year i am on top of that i'm marking every single thing so that i know exactly what i'm planting and what it is so that i know exactly where to plant it properly and yeah anyway guys and I planted some beans, two, three types of beans, the dwarf French beans and the runner beans. So hopefully they do well. I added compost and sheep manure to my soil as always, but I forgot to add blood and bone. And I also planted two different peas. Then I had to go back to my greenhouse to go and pot it up my seedlings, some of my seedlings. I did tomatoes and cucumbers and um beetroot i did not show everything but here i was doing the cucumber i added blood and bone to the potty mix and compost i added blood and bone for the, so that the cucumber can have strong roots and strong stem that promote and also have a good growth after disturbing it for a while because this is a little bit too late to pot it up this is what I'm trying to say. One of these these three plants were planted in one small area, one small little pot, and one of them, the first one is bigger and stronger. The middle one is a small and a little bit weak. The other one is just okay. So it's important to separate them so that they can have strong stem and strong roots. Here, one of them is stronger than the other because they are fighting over nutrients. They will still grow but it's better to separate them or to grow them in bigger pots so that they can have strong healthy roots once you finish uh putting up the seedlings always give them a good drink i wouldn't do it the way i did it in this video i'll make sure i put the tray on the bottom so that i i water them from the bottom not the top but they'll still be all right anyway guys thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing again see you in the next video i don't know what oh what i'll be doing in the next video will be just planting and transplanting most of the seeds actually 
most of the seedlings so i'm looking forward to that and i'll show you what i'll be doing in the next video and with all of these plants thank you guys